Oh, look at this. <laughs> if this hut's a rockin', don't come a knockin'. Everybody, Generic B here, and welcome to our Hermit's Look at Universe Sim. So this game is not out yet, still in alpha, uh, but I was so lucky to get a uh, to get a key for it, an early access key. This game, oh, it's still, like I said, it's still alpha, there's still a lot of stuff that they gotta do, uh, put in the works, but this is my kind of game. Back in the day, I used to play all those god games like, um, uh, oh man, like populous, black and white, you know, stuff like that. Um, and that's basically what this is, is a really, really cool god game where you you are controlling the fate of your little clan of people, which they call nuggets in this game. Um, so I'm going to, first and foremost, we got to find a spot to, uh, to call our own. This actually looks like a pretty nice spot right here. Let's take a look-see at it. Uh, yeah, it's not too bad. We're gonna drop our little dude ham right uh, there. So this is our like central location, right? The epicenter of our place. And we automatically get uh, two adults and two little babies <laughs> going on. Uh, and so really quick to kind of show you around the, uh, here, I guess I'll zoom in a little bit so you can watch them working. To show you about what's going on with the uh, with the controls and stuff uh, around here, this tells you where uh, you got the adults and the kids. This is the overall happiness of the tribe, as long as they're fed and taken care of. You know, they'll be okay. It says coming soon, so maybe it's not e even in yet. Uh, this right here is an automatic baby maker. So whenever a female is ready to make it a baby, she'll automatically mate up and and uh, make it to babies. That way you constantly increase your population down here is all your resource stuff that you need as you can see we're out of water so we need to make some water uh, or make a water technology so I'm gonna go right here and make a well Punk. oh well and let's see I'm thinking if we make it kind of around by our place you can use Q and E to rotate sit on it rotate yeah okay so what that'll mean now is some of these guys will start uh, will start constructing it. They first got to get rid of the stuff that's around and then get to work. Get working on it, would you? Yeah, so they're dumping the stuff that's needed and now Elu is building. <laughs> and so this well uh, will give them water. It'll automatically kind of uh, fill up with water over time. And one well for now should be enough for my people. So yeah, you can see it's going slowly but surely. Uh, let's take a look at some of the other stuff we can build. Uh, so this is all available soon. But you can see like wood refinery, stone, glass, cement, plastic, carbon fiber, alloy, and polymer. So this is like, we're not gonna stay in the caveman age, at least when this game is finished. You know, we're actually going to grow and evolve from a technology standpoint. Okay, let's see, is this making anything? Yeah, you can see it's slowly growing the water. Book, 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 right? Ever so slowly. Um, so let's see what else we got. We can make a farm, which I think would be good. Uh, and then we can make a fishing pier for food. There is a water reservoir. Mm, very nice. And here's one that I think we should make, a water pump. So the water pump has to go by a source of water. Eh, that seems like an okay spot to me. Boom, I confirm its location. What in the world are you? You must be some kind of food. Looks like watermelons. Okay, so once that is built, then it'll start pumping some water from the lake into, uh, into our system. And let's see what else we can do. We don't wanna get them too, too carried away. Yeah, these guys right now are going to do the construction. We have no control over the, over the guys. Um, they just kind of know what they need to do. So we place this down, they know it needs to be built. And so they automatically start working on it. But you can't like click on a guy. I mean, you can, 
You can click on them. Hello? Let me click on you. This is Chubo. This place is awesome. I don't want to leave it. Right? So you see right now he's carrying five, uh, five stone. But that's about it. That's all you can do is just look at his status and stuff. I think we should build... Where's that farm at? And boom, look how big that thing is. Holy cow, is it huge. I'm thinking... I'm thinking let's put it right like that. Boom, boom. And so it's kind of near the epicenter so people can get to it. Um, kind of near the water. It'll need water. I don't know if that really matters for that sort of thing. Oh, ooh, Elu and Adahi have a new skip to their step. Uh-huh. And then Zaihu has finally graced us with their presence. So they had a baby. It's really funny. Like, the little uh, messages that show up are hilarious. They're like... So-and-so just went back to work with a little skip in their step. <laughs> okay, so this is slowly getting there. We got three people building on it. See, it shows how many resources it needed to build. And Kablunk is built. Is it built? Yes. And so now this thing's outputting eight water, which is good because we'll need that for the farm. The farm uses up quite a bit of water. Under food, we only have nine units of raw food. So we're gonna have to, uh, that's why we're building this farm so they can start getting some, uh, some business going. Right now, they are just clearing out the area. We've got three or four supporters doing things, I guess is how that works. Oh, and you can sit there and say prioritize. Of course, this is the only thing uh, that they're building right now. In the future, there, it's not here yet, but you'll be able to upgrade these things. And I think that's how you get into the next tiers of technology. So like, you probably will need a farm and a pump, and then you'll be able to make something else. You know what I mean? Uh, but it's not there quite yet. Okay, in addition, while those guys are working hard on stuff, I'm thinking, let's build a, where's that fishing place? Bon, bon. Constructor hut, a cemetery, a hospital probably would be nice eventually, but we won't do it yet. Here we go. Fisher Pier. Um, and that seems like a good spot for it, I believe. Bloop. I confirmed the location. You'll see up here, now it's autumn. So terrible time to be placing crops and stuff like that, but that's okay. We're going to make it happen. Uh, the farming is really unique in this. It's not just like, okay, we're building a farm and then that's that. You can actually do uh, crop rotation. Each of these little uh, fields you have to, like now that it's built, you have to prepare the field, prepare the plot, and then you choose what you get to plant in it. It's really, really cool. Okay, are you done? Yes. So we'll assign a farmer. Let's just assign one for right now until we get some more people. And then say you build the plot. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll assign two. Gathering materials, but don't. Okay, so Ad Adahi and Aboho are both gonna build this one plot. Uh, you know, I guess I'll, I'll tell it to go ahead and do them all. I think it'll do them just one at a time, I think. Okay, food is an issue. Wah, wah, wah. Uh, the cool thing about this is, let's see if I can find it. Is there a, is there a spot yet? No, but the cool thing is, whenever the population gets to a certain size, it will automatically... Oh, I think they're doing one right here. Yeah. They're automatically making houses, which I think is so cool. It's a really nifty uh, little thing. You know, like people grow up, they fall in love. Well, they're not going to be making the babies in their parents' house. That's kind of, kind of gross, right? So they're going to build their own little place. And this happens automatically. Fall is here. Let's see how this is going. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So slowly making it happen. Once these plots are prepared, then we can plant seeds. And winter's coming, but that's okay. There's a couple plants that we can still we can still grow. Okay, nothing's happening here yet. They're still bringing over the resources. Look at this little person. He goes. He dumping it. Bunk, and it went up to 11. Okay, so you can carry like five things at a time. Very slow. You so slow, people. 
Okay, so this plot is ready to go. You'll notice it's winter time. It's five degrees Celsius right now. So we need to find something that will handle all that. I'm gonna say, let's grow some healthy Molina because you can see it takes, it can take it. This is almost done. And come on, wait for it, wait for it. And balloon. Okay, and let's do some dragon egg fruit right here. Blah. -ha. Okay, so now the farmers will go, they'll plant that stuff up. We're down to six food, which ain't great. I'm hoping that they're gonna get this. Okay, this is building. Good, 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 good. Okay, it's almost done. Babunk. And I will assign a fisherman. Ooh, he's mating. Get it, girl. So now this guy is a fisherman. What'll happen is he will automatically go out on his little boat, even though it's winter time and the, and the lake is all frozen over. I would not want to be that dude. He goes out and he goes fishing. And you can see, I guess I need to click on, hold on. There he goes. Uh, you can see right now it says 0%. So he'll go, he'll do his little fishing. He'll come back and it'll be raw fish. And then it needs to be gutted. And so that'll get converted into food. He'll come back and he'll gut it. It's really, I mean, it's detailed. I love, I love these God games. They're so much fun to me. I guess I can now assign, well, I don't want to assign one more farmer yet because we need some people to be mating and carrying some stuff. So we'll wait on that for a hot minute. Oh, ho, ho. okay, so the stone hut has been made. That means, oh, yep, we've, we now have another baby. Another baby's happening, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> and they're collecting all the resources that they need because we need some stone. I want to make an eatery. Let's see how big this eatery, oh, it's ginormous. Okay, what if we place the eatery right there? Yes, and then what the eatery does, if we look at the at the little thing, it's like watering holes of the Stone Age. So this is where nuggets go to eat and make merry. All nuggets who consume their meals here receive a happiness bonus. This is this is pretty. Oh, look at this! <laughs> if this hut's a rockin', don't come a knockin'. <laughs> oh yeah, get it, get it, a dobo, a boho, and they made the babies who apparently. Does this baby already have a beard? Is that the baby? We gotta look this up, come here. That baby is born with a beard. That is the manliest man that will ever walk the face of this planet. How's this stuff going? It's growing, ooh, it's ripe. Oh, baby. Uh-huh. Oh, see, this is kind of nifty. You can set up a queue and then plant them automatically. So like if you wanted to do crop rotation, so like let's say dragon egg fruit and then you wanted to do a uh, healthy Molina. What happened there? That's not what I want to do. Hold on, I want to do it right. Okay, so healthy Molina. Let's say we want to do a dragon egg fruit and then we wanted to do a juicy acorn and then an auto rotate. And this one, maybe we want bloody diarrhea fruit. It's only an unfortunate name. Because <laughs> the toxins can't be neutralized, but like the first person who got it <laughs> had, the, had the bloody diarrhea. I think it's pretty funny. Uh, did it work? Doesn't seem to be wanting to work. I don't know why on that. Okay. So see, it's minus nine. And this one only lasted minus five. So this one's getting a little bit of a frost. It's okay though. It'll survive, I think. As this one turned it into, yeah, so see it's slowly turning that into actual food, which is really, really good. Okay, and I think the next thing I need to do is a hospital. And the hospital can maybe go back here somewhere. Okay, but this is the this is the priority. Prioritize. Uh oh, yeah, see, Nako has injured, injured himself itself doing ordinary stuff. So can I click on, there he is. What, oh yeah, see he's got a little broken bone. Hey dummy, what's the matter with you? Oh, I gotta choose a prop, clop. It's minus 10 right now, so let's do a dragon egg fruit. Oh, let's do a bloody diarrhea fruit. 
<laughs> I love it. It's so funny. Um, a panda plum thing, and let's go for one of these. All right. Oh, we're going now. Get it, babies. <laughs> a boho and chubo have concluded their uh, nap. Aha, the eatery is fully operational. Let's assign a cook. Uh, I'm gonna say Elu. And uh, for right now, maybe that's all so we could still have two people because they need to start working on the hospital. And then once the once the baby's born, little baby child is born in the ghetto, uh, then we will we may assign one more chef over there. There is something that we should make though. Uh huh. A forecast tower. So this is important so they know like when the seasons are coming and stuff like that. Oh, it looks really cool too. I'm thinking we can maybe stick this like right here. And I'm gonna rotate it a little bit just for fun. Come on. All right, so we've got everything we need for the hospital finally. Definitely, you need to watch out and make sure that um, that you've got enough people mining and chopping down trees because it really slows down uh, the amount of uh, building speed, which is pretty typical for these type of games. But look at this hospital. That's so cool. I don't know what I was expecting. I thought it would be like <laughs> more of a, I don't know, a building, but that's pretty cool. Okay, assign a witch doctor. Sure, we'll have one witch doctor. And then the dude who had Nako, he had a broken leg. Yeah, and he's healing. Oh, dude, that's cool. I guess this is like uh, the type of like medicine and stuff you could do. Dude, is that person doing witch doctor stuff over there? Yeah, look at him, healing up. Oh, fantastic. All right, this is being collected and stuff. I think the last thing I want to try to do today. Uh oh, hold up, hold up, everybody. Choose a crop. It's a good, the weather is upon us. Look at us, man, we are going to town. Uh oh, uh oh, <laughs> Oh, you can almost see him in there. Look, look. Peeping Tom, peeping Tom. Wow, you're going pretty good. <laughs> they look rather pleased, I wonder what they were up to. I know what you were up to. Look at this, little baby. <laughs> and that was how you were born. Uh, we've got people fishing, making food, growing the stuff. Is, are you like, yep, everything's fine there. They're planting. Life is pretty good. Uh, we've got health. Oh, they're making another stone hut. Very, very nice. So the next thing I want to do, the final thing for this episode, I want to see there is a... A constructor's hut, which says, <clears throat> responsible for new building constructions and repairing existing one. My guess is maybe that unlocks something else. Oh, I just realized, look at our, our, our water usage has really gone up. Uh, we're gonna need to make another water wheel thingy. All right, this might take us a hot minute because we have no... Oh, man, they're making mo babies. They've concluded their uh, nap. Wink, wink. I don't know what they're working on. We have no resources, but I'll let them do all their thing, and I will... Oh, they're working on this guy. Yeah, we got a lot of stuff. Okay, I'm going to let them work, and I'll be right back. Well, it looks like I have run into a slight bug in the game. It is early access, after all. Um, but for some reason, this one, the stone hut, it has all the resources and everything, but it just won't finish building that last little bit. I've tried to prioritize it. I've taken the builders. The builders will actually sit there and say they're building, but nothing happens. And then they get thirsty and, and starve and stuff like that. So I, I even like moved them over and got new people in and they don't seem to be responding to this. I'm not exactly sure what happened there, but hey, it's early access, it's alpha. I mean, it's not even early access, like no one has access to this thing yet, you know what I'm saying? Uh, but I'm gonna leave it here for this episode. I'll do a little bit of research to see if the construction um, 
if the construction building does actually open up new buildings. And if it does, then maybe we'll continue doing some more of this game. But that's doing it for me. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, be sure and drop a like on this video. Helps me out so very, very much. And until next time, take care. Brush your hair. I'll see you when I see you. Arsh.